cameras have become one of the major selling points for modern-day smartphones. As a result, over the past years, we've come across phones having 48 and 64 megapixels cameras. And now, the limelight is on 108 megapixels mobile cameras. On the other hand, DSLR cameras come up only with 12 or 24 megapixels. This raises a doubt in our minds, are smartphone cameras better than DSLRs? If you have the same doubt, keep watching this video to know the answer. If we are looking for a new mobile phone, it's very likely to look at the specifications, especially the camera's megapixels. A good camera will rank high on our list of must-have features. If the megapixels are high, our intuitive is the camera quality will be superior. But the truth is, megapixels are not the only factor to improve the image quality. Apart from that, there are considerable reasons. Before getting to know these, we should know how an image is formed and what are megapixels. Let's take an image and keep zooming into it. After a certain level, we can see that image consists of tiny squares. These tiny squares are called pixels. We get a clear image only when each of these pixels are combined and formed. That means if a camera has high megapixels, we have to zoom into the image more and more to see these tiny squares. For example, if we capture a photo in the size of 48 megapixels, that is combined of 48 million pixels. So, we can see this image clearly even though we zoom into a certain level. And a photo captured in the size of 12 megapixels, that is combined of 12 million pixels only. Therefore, these tiny square pixels started to appear when we slightly zoom into the image. The bottom line is, more megapixels means, more information can be stored without loss. We will see detail contained is more in 48 megapixels than in 12 megapixels. Even though pixels is one of the reasons to improve image quality, the foremost reason is the sensors in the camera. The function of this sensor is to absorb the light reflected from the object using photosites and convert them to digital. This is what we see as an image on mobile display. A typical full-frame DSLR sensor is 36 by 24 millimeters in size, whereas an average smartphone sensor only measures more or less 5.5 by 4 millimeters, depending on the manufacturer. That means a full-frame DSLR camera sensor has an area that is about 40 times bigger than a smartphone sensor. If we look at the 24 megapixels comparison between a DSLR and a smartphone camera sensors, this means that both sensors have 24 million pixels despite the size difference. The larger sensor will have larger pixels to fill its surface area. The smaller sensor, on the other hand, has to cram the same amount of pixels onto a very small area, which means the pixels themselves will have to be super tiny. Larger pixels capture more light and are less susceptible to displaying high noise levels, therefore producing better results than small pixels. So, even though your camera is 108 megapixels, the photo's clarity will be low when taken in low light. In order to resolve this issue, mobile manufacturers introduced something called pixel binning technology. Pixel binning is a technique where multiple pixels on a camera sensor are grouped to work together as one. The most common form of binning take four adjacent pixels and make them act as one. By doing this, the pixels will increase in size and the photo clarity will be improved. But still, an ordinary dedicated camera with a 24 megapixels resolution will produce better quality pictures than any smartphone of the same resolution. Why? Mainly because of the much bigger sensor. Companies like Apple and Google Pixel still do not use pixel binning technology and limited their camera resolution to 10 to 12 megapixels as they have quite a bigger sensor and have excellent software processing which results in better image. None of this is to say that smartphone cameras are bad. Given the size limitations manufacturers are working with, they're a little short of astonishing. On the bottom line, to capture quality images, a DSLR with 12 megapixels is highly preferred rather than a phone with a 108 megapixel camera. That's all for this video folks, thank you for watching, hope you find this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel for more informative videos.